on everybody, I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to Dear Man. I don't know much about this game other than that this is a short interactive storytelling experience, which kind of leads me to believe that we're going to be passively walking around and the story about this Dear Man is going to unfold before us without us really doing much, which I don't typically like playing games like that. I want to be involved with my games in some way, shape, or fashion, but um, this game had an overwhelmingly high uh, rating, so I wanted to give it a shot. So, start game, let's uncover the story about this deer man. The man that was half deer, I don't know what this game is about. I am a morning person, even though I was visiting my parents. I had already planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night, we don't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. I'd totally do an Australian accent, except I would just be awful at it. Press X to begin. Oh, do I have to have my Xbox controller, or will... Yeah, keyboard works. Okay. You can play this game on the Oculus Rift or whatever uh, virtual reality headset. Cold Sunday. Minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. Are you done? You can play this game uh, on virtual reality, so... That's why I was curious if I needed the Xbox controller. Okay, shift to run. Yeah, I was trying earlier. You wouldn't let me. Which way do you want to take? Well, the sign says that way. Oh, is this the Robert Frost poem? Like, is this the road less traveled by? I'm going to go this way. There's a graveyard over there. That doesn't look good. I don't think this is a horror game. I mean, granted, I was looking for a horror game. Let's go over here. I was looking for a horror game when I came across this, but I don't think this is a horror game. Oh, look at the little deer. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. I'm assuming that this is an Australian who went to the United States to visit his parents and whatnot. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Someone's got to throw that out. Inside, okay. it was mostly empty. I saw a tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place. And it looked like someone had recently visited. I can arrange them. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. And then I want to do that again. And then, yeah, arrange it. Yeah. Did that... Mmm, looks good. Do I get, like, a key or something? No, no, of course not. Open drawer. Okay, with X or E. X. X. A letter. I don't know what's going on with you. You leave early in the mornings and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's getting hard for me, and I am afraid it's not going to work out between us. And I am sure you know that, and I am hoping you will do something to make it all good. Emily. Whoever lives in this cottage done messed up. Hey, Aaron. Okay. Well, I think that's... What is this? Is that just like a plank of snow? Oh, is there anything in this box that I can take? No. Apparently not. Okie doke. Uh, when does the deer man show up? I kind of want to visit this graveyard. Let's check this out real quick. I kind of feel like something's going to happen over here. There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. There was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. That's not good. I'm assuming this is the leg. And there's a branch over here. Or is that an antler? Oh, that's an antler? Oh, I picked up one antler. Oh, God, is this Slenderman? Did I pick up one antler and I have to find... four more? What happens when I... Actually, hold on. What if I... What if I press X with this? Do you hear that whispering in my ear? It's super unsettling. Okay, there's the cottage, and let's go this way. I'm actually a little lost now. And so, I'm gonna go this way! Hello, deer! What happens if I actually go near a deer? Last time I went... Okay, good. He runs away. Last time I went near a deer in a horror game, it was Spooky's Jump Scare House. Beautiful. Everything seemed connected. Yeah, by roads. Last time I approached a deer in a horror game, or in a, any game in general, it attacked me because it was a ferocious deer that was demonic. Okay, let's pick this up because apparently we need these for some reason. Hooray! Two out of five. I don't know why we need these. 
And actually, this is a small map now that I look at it. This is quite peaceful. And I've been playing way too many horror games because I'm slightly on edge. I need to relax. Honestly, I need a massage. After every horror game, I need just like a nice massage and a nap and a burrito. That's what I need. Am I gonna start talking about this? Oh, hello. I remember I took the axe to... To what? To kill? Can I take that? I took the axe. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I feel like something really bad is gonna happen, but I don't know if that- if I'm being silly. I found nothing useful in the cabin. Okay. I guess I'm gonna leave. I hit you! Yeah. Come on, antler. Give me antler! I think I see an antler over there. Get out of here, deer! I ain't got none of your time for shenanigans. I, I don't have time for your shenanigans, that's what I'm trying to say. And take that, four out of five. And I think I know where the last one is. I didn't explore the area around the cabin, so I'm gonna go back over there. I think I see an antler behind the cabin. Why am I picking up antlers? Okay, God. I heard that noise, I, I heard the flies. And I freaked out for a second. Okay, five out of five. What now? What is this over here? Wooden box was locked, but I managed to open it. Yeah. It's the wooden box. I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. Well, yeah, there's a cabin. Duh. And I can take these apparently, right? Oh, I just look at them. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so that's that. What if there's a plot twist and I am the deer man? Huh? Whoa. Okay. Where? Where? Ah, it's the deer man! I won't look back! I was just trying to fix my hair! Where's the hide? Oh, oh, let's go in here! This is a great place to hide from the deer man! Hide! I'm hiding! I'm hidden! I'm hidden. I'm hidden. Don't you do. I think the deer man ate me. Oh, hi! What is that? It's the deer man! Oh shit. Yeah! Yeah! Cabin, 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 cabin! Is there a deer man out to get me? No, thank you. Go away! This is probably your cabin. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home. Okay, I feel like that's a bad idea. Let's run home! Run away from the deer man. Okay, so it's got some horror elements to it. I think home is this way. Huh? Ah! Back into the cabin! Back! Or not! Or I'm dead. I'm dead, probably. Oh! I woke with a migraine, my vision blurry. I was trying to make sense of what had happened. On my right, the fire burned and a kettle hissed. I saw the thing standing in front of me. Well, that thing turned out to be a man holding a deer mask. He apologized to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him I was not there to hunt, but I questioned why he would have attacked a hunter. He said he had a reason. As he poured a glass of warm water and handed it to me, he asked me if I wanted to know. Yes, I replied. I would like to know all about your murderous- you been a poor family a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. Okay, is this new? I see more antlers. Let's go ahead and pick those up. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. I've been hunting for the past few years. The woods have never been this quiet. Let's pick that up. Oh, hello. There is nothing around here. I should turn back and follow the other path. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. Do I have a weapon? I'm guessing I have a gun. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Let's go find me some food to feed my family and provide for them. I hope to get something for today. I don't want my family to sleep hungry. It's already dark, I have to be quick. And there's an antler we can go ahead and pick up. I don't know if there's any significance in picking up all the antlers. And then he found something. He kept a far 
distance, drew his gun. Oh, X to equip rifle. I didn't even press X! What happened? Did I make the deer run away? <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, now I got it. Then he found yeah. He kept a far distance, drew his gun. I'm gonna shoot me a deer. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. There you go. The deer fell to the ground. Yeah! He ran towards it to pick it up. I need to feed my family. Right then, a baby fool oh. came to lie next to its dying mother. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. It's like I'm watching Bambi! Stop! Oh my gosh. Why you gotta bring out the feels? Why? It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. He finished telling his story. As he stood, he reached out to help me up. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it was time to go. We shook hands! He held on to my grip and confided with me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied! If I did, you'd probably kill me! Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him! His courage to protect the deer, and his bravery of risking his life, it really touched me. And right then, we heard a gunshot! Follow me, a hunter is near, he said! Donning his mask, he ran to the sound. How did he get the mask in the first place? My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. Like, did he have to kill a deer to get the mask? I mean, probably not. I mean, this guy really loves deer and loves life and loves, you know, nature and all that stuff. Which is all fine and good. I mean, nature's important. We gotta protect it and conserve it. And I... I do hunt on a... Cross a frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way. I want to talk and have commentary, but I can't, like, commentate while he's talking. Like, I do hunt, and I hope that you guys don't really think I'm a terrible person for hunting. I mean, I, uh, me and my family eat everything that we hunt. We don't waste any of any anim animal uh, that we kill for food. So I'm, I'm, oh, let's go this way. Did I just get trampled by a deer? I can't tell. I got trampled! I got trampled! All I'm saying is, I don't know exactly what the message of this story is, but at least in my view, in terms of hunting, I mean, if you're hunting an animal of like, if you're killing elephants, like just for their tusks, that's despicable. But if you're like hunting animals that are very common and actually you need to kill them to uh, keep- Can I go that way? I can't go that way. Oh, I guess I'm continuing on. Like, don't, like, don't kill just to kill. Don't be like shooting squirrels or anything. Oh, God. No! I shouted, somebody help. I shouted again, begging for help. But no one answered. That doesn't look like a deer mask. I don't know what's happening. The police found a piece of paper in the deer man's pocket. It said, I take full responsibility of whatever happens to me. I hold no one responsible. I demand the hunter is set free, so that on his next hunt he thinks twice to take an innocent life from the wild. The police did catch the hunter and drop the charges. I could see the hunter was sorry, but, well, the deer man was gone. We buried the deer man in the same woods. That night I couldn't sleep. And the next day, I returned to the woods to see his grave. I was there to thank him for inspiring me, showing me how to love the unspoken wild. A baby fool stayed by his grave, unfazed by my presence. Okay. Oh, oh, these are graves of deer. These are graves of the deer that had been killed in this forest. Oh, I see. 
Okay, so we're back in the original area. I guess we can go back to the cabin and see what's over there? The door is closed. Can I open it? No, I guess not. Can I just leave the woods? I don't know if these antlers do anything. I, I kind of feel like they're just kind of there to be collectible. And then nothing much really happens. Everyone. That's when I decided to take the dear man's mission forward. There has to be a reason to live. And I had just found one. To become the deer man! So I'm the deer man now! I was in the same path where I first met the deer man. I remember how he ran towards me, and I did the same. I started to run. Faster and faster. I didn't want to stop. The deer ran along with me, on my right and on my left. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I am the deer man. Now I'm the deer man! That was a really cool story. I thought that that was actually really well done. I'm confused about what it's actually trying to say. I mean, the big picture of the game is that, you know, everyone has a purpose in life, every single person, even if you don't feel like you have a purpose. Your purpose is out there and you just have to find it. For this guy, it's becoming the deer man. Now, I don't necessarily agree that you should go out and start killing people, which this person is probably going to do now. And it's probably going to be like the cycle of people discovering this deer man and then becoming the deer man themselves. But you, you see what I mean? That's That's the only part that I'm a little confused about. And I don't know if it's trying to say anything necessarily about hunting, per se, but either way, that is that is the overall message that I'm taking away from this story, that you have a purpose. I have a purpose. He, she, me, we all have a purpose. He, she, me, Wumbo. Random Spongebob. <laughs> Random Spon Spongebob web uh, reference. God, I can't talk. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, it really helps me out. Also, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to me so you can stay up to date with all the other videos that I'll be posting soon. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.